Meantime, Ken Buck, who has been on this program on a number of occasions and who has sometimes broken with his party of Republicans, uh, is just talking about the fact that this hearing is a symbol of the dysfunction in Washington. And although we knew he was not going to run for reelection, he has just put out a statement. What does it say, Julie? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He put out a statement, Chris, and this is really notable because, again, this makes Republicans' margins even smaller. Now, I'm a journalist. I'm not that good at math, so we'll calculate those margins later on. But they were already really tight before he made this announcement. He did write in part, it has been an honor to serve the people of Colorado's 4th District. He said, today I am announcing that I will depart Congress at the end of next week. I look forward to staying involved in our political process as well as spending more time in Colorado with my family. He had broken with his party, as you mentioned, on key votes including the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas, uh, causing that vote initially to fail. He said before that he will be retiring, but this is news, that he is leaving at the end of next week. And I have to tell you, he has yet to talk in this hearing behind me, but he is on the Judiciary Committee. We do expect to hear from him, his questioning of her, uh, when the committee gavels back in here. And I saw him walking back and forth, his reaction to the hearing in real time. As you mentioned, it was one of the things he noted in why he chose to early up his retirement, if you will. But certainly, this is going to mean big problems for Speaker Johnson, especially when you look at what's on the docket, when they have to fund the government, they're trying to do it in a partisan way, and they have that aid bill sitting out that the Senate passed to Ukraine, to Israel, to Taiwan, that they're also trying to do in their own way. Every single vote counts here, and certainly this is bad news bears for Speaker Johnson.